including their first five to start this year in their first year in the league. It'll be a touchback to get things started for Western Kentucky here at home tonight from Bowling Green, Kentucky. They stack up the wide receivers to each side. Second down and seven. Quick pass out to the outside. There's Corley, as you said. They try to set up a screen, and he picks up a couple to the 32. Going to set up a third and three. In motion goes Corley. Here's a third down pass, and it's caught. It's a first down catch from Elijah Young, and he's still at his feet into Liberty territory. A first down and more. You break one tackle. You see Quentin Reese, 16 to safety, come up, misses the tackle, and Young goes down. Reed guns it on a slam. The catch is made by KD Hutchinson. And a first down for Western Kentucky. Yeah, excellent route by Hutchinson. Just an inside slant. You saw the receiver on top kind of clear it for him. We'll bunch it up here. Robert Helms, the tight end to the right side of the offensive line. He's been big. There's another play fake. Reed still throws over the middle. The catch is made at the five yard line. That is a first down. This is the 11th play of the drive coming up. The pass out is caught by River Helms, but they're all over it. Good tackle that time made by Preston Hyde. Reed on the slam. The catch is made by Malachi Corley for the touchdown. Here, Corley just comes underneath the two receivers. Good quick pass by Austin Reed, the defender, Jalen Jimerson, number two. Here in the open about this team being number two in the nation at rushing. He is obviously a huge part of that, and so is Quentin Cooley, who takes the first handoff of the game tonight. Second down. Well, swing out, and the catch is made by Bedgood, and he's got a first, and a flag comes flying in as well. Aaron Bedgood on uh, the reception, number 82, the senior. They, I believe they called it on five, so right there. So you see the arm kind of the grab and then him to the ground. That's what the side judge called. In motion goes Trayon Sibley. Salter looks right. He throws, catch is made. It's a first down. And just inside the 40-yard line is Bentley Hanshaw. Knows where the sticks are, knows where he needs to get. Salter puts it right on him, and although he's tackled right there, he's past the yard. On offense for his group, this Liberty team has got so many weapons as well, and they get it back out to Bedgood, and he's inside the 30. First down, close to the 20-yard line. He's pretty healthy right now. Get a little orbit motion. Salter puts it on him in space, up the field. They will spread him out now, too, with five wide receivers here on this set for Salter from the shotgun. Pressure, this is what Salter can do, and he takes it to the house. 20 yards for the touchdown. But how I know it was a quarterback draw, watch 53, Jordan White, the center. He's out in front, lead blocking, and they run it so well, he doesn't even have anyone to hit. Reed with time over the middle, and the catch is made, and Easton Messer's got it. And a first down up close to midfield. Third and one. Cooley, and he's not going to get it. Fourth down. Good job by Western Kentucky up front. Salter takes a step. He's got it. And he's going to dive forward for the first down. Hello. Hook's not telling Jamie Chadwell to go for it there. You know, I thought he handed it to Cooley on the zone read, which would have been perfect. Instead, he pulls it, takes it around left edge, and then he knows situational awareness. Game to get that fourth down from your own 17-yard line. Keep this drive alive as Salter guns it out. And the catch is made across the 25-yard line. Bed good again. He's... They picked up the first down before the end of the quarter, and now they swing it out to Helms, the tight end, and he has another first down for Western Kentucky. Big gain inside the 40, call it 14. The Cats sophomore from Leicester, Alabama at 6'4", 242. Now back to the ground, it's Elijah Young, puts his head down, and he powers his way for a first down. You know, Western Kentucky likes to use running back by committee, but make no mistake about it, they really like Elijah Young. Great job there, a little sidestep. For Lucas. Carnero. Trey Naughton a snap. Tom Ellard holds, and the kick is good. 
They're excited to be in Conference USA, and they're playing good football. Salter, pressure, he's going to be sacked. What a job by Sebastian Benjamin. Yeah, and Salter looks like he got to throw that on time. He doesn't. He tucks it, and Benjamin's there for the sack. And you saw Williams, TK Williams number seven, almost jump across and deflect it. What has to happen there to get that? Low man, you got to get low. Salter, he's got a man wide open to catch for the touchdown. CJ Daniels, heads up. 47 yards. Corners peekabooing inside because of the run game. Salter steps up, throws a strike to CJ Daniels. Second down, get for Step. He's got a first down. He gets across the 40. A huge head of steam. Yeah, Marquis Step is more of their downhill back. I like he puts that right foot in the ground and squares those shoulders. And it's imperative for Western Kentucky defensively to not give up a score here. Salter directing traffic, telling guys to go downfield and looking for blocks, and he gets them and he runs for a first. Just inside Flames territory, Reed. Deep pass, it's caught. He's got Messer. First down. Yeah, just a crossing route by Messer, and you know, that's a, a, a mismatch as well. Jerome Jolly, zero. Hutchinson goes in motion. Reed. Again, same situation, but into double coverage. And they're going to call it an interception. Kobe Singleton picks it off for Liberty. This will be 16 interceptions for the Flames defense this season. It leads the nation. Now, he needs to survive the ground, too. It's bouncing. It's bouncing. It's bouncing. It never hits the ground. Uh, wow. Yeah, that might be a sports center top 10. We'll see. I don't think it touched the ground when he rolled over. It definitely doesn't. It's on the, the receiver right here. It's rolling over. It's anybody's ball right now. Singleton. Yeah, that's He's an interception. It. Yeah. Wow. How about maintaining concentration like that? And once again, over on ESPN2. Back to action here with Liberty and Cooley running for a first down for the Flames as he picks up. Salter, it's away from the defender, takes off, and he's got room down the right sideline. First down, he's pushed out of bounds. 62 yards on the ground for Caden Salter tonight, the sophomore quarterback, and now he flips it out there at the last second, and he's got Bedgood. And he'll step out of bounds. Slowly coming into this game with 726 rushing yards, six touchdowns. They flip it out to Bedgood on the outside, and he goes down the sideline, takes a big hit, out of bounds. Tyson Summers knows it's coming when, when Bedgood comes in motion. A good flip that time by Caden Salter. I mean, in motion goes Venn. They flip it out to him. Victor Venn to the pylon. Down shy of the goal. Yeah, the side judge, side judge says oh, touchdown. Now, now they say touchdown. So he's checking with the headline judge because it doesn't look like his knee went down. Yeah, I, I don't see anything there to, to overturn that. Western Kentucky, and it is Reed keeping and diving for the first down. The quarterback has it across the 35-yard line. Second down pass from Reed over the middle. The catch is made. He's got Smith. He's got a first down. And just across the midfield line into Liberty territory. Reed puts it on him quick, lets him turn and run after the catch. Good job. And he's been able to instill that in this group. As this pass is caught from Noah Frith, and he has a first down in midfield. Devin Lynch. A nice job, and it's really showcased Conference USA, I think, beautifully uh, this month. Bedgood goes in motion. They give it back to Lucas, and he cuts it back, and he has a first down up the middle inside the 40. It's a gain of 13. And they just kind of put their foot on the gas, and they lean on you. And again, we talked about that offensive line. They average about 320 pounds. A lot of teams are banged up at this time of the year. You just got to fight through it. Bedgood. And everyone is having their way. What about what this offensive line is doing, right? Keeper by Salter, looking for blocking. He's got it. They have it inside the five-yard line. 
On a second and goal from the two, Bed good in motion. Cooley walking in basically for the touchdown. Quinton Cooley, fourth TD of the night for Liberty. That receiver can be off, out the shoot, out the back end. Here comes the pressure, he's sacked. It's Kendy Charles that brings Reed down on the sack, and he's got two and a half now in the season. To Austin Reed, and that time, Kendy Charles with the push, then comes up underneath and gets to Austin Reed, and that's the first sack of the night for Liberty defensively, and it comes at a big time. And bright future he has. Very talented in his own right. Third and long, Reed, and they get it over the middle this time. The catch is made. Seven yard line got just enough. Yeah, exceptional play by Western Kentucky. He needed to keep this drive alive. Messer goes in motion over the middle. Instead, he's got a wide open man. It is Elijah Young, and no one's going to touch him. Young's in for the touchdown. And no one rotates over. There's no safety in the middle. And it's just an easy throw to Elijah Young, and down the sideline he goes. You're not going to get an easier touchdown than that. And let's see if they can get the two-point conversion. So Reed rolling, running out of room, goes to the end zone. The catch is dropped. Pass is dropped. And here he goes, Caden Salter. Look out, has blockers downfield and gets out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Another red zone trip here for the Liberty Flames. That's a 34-yard run. Back to the six on the O-line with Tucker, Mitchell, Graham, White, Gatlin, and Gray. That good. With that blocking, he's in. Touchdown. And you had a beautiful daughter, too, Delaney. Yes, thank Going to be you. five years old, so... I guess if you want to have a child in your play-by-play, -play, <laughs> specifically a girl, work with me. Start working with you. Look at this pass. River Helms has it. Touchdown. Western Kentucky, just like that, puts six back on the board on a 63-yard strike from Reed to hell. Here's the play, what's going on and here? He goes in okay. motion and just no one's out there. You see the confusion, two linebackers and a safety underneath. Confusion, the safety on top doesn't. All right, two point conversion try. Reed, looking, looking, backpedaling, lost it up to the corner of the end zone, looking for Helms, no, but a flag is thrown. Be a great rematch. Pass is caught by C.J. Daniels. Makes a man miss, goes down the sideline, has a first down to midfield. Just ran over a defender, picks up 17 yards, where he had a touchdown catch earlier tonight. And if you're gonna go for it here on fourth down, you know, Liberty, probably think about running it. They've got 16 rushing first downs tonight. Can they get one through the air? Yes, and they're gonna get a touchdown. Caught for the score by Trayon Sibley. Let's go back to it. Just a backbreaker. You see Salter rolls out. So they're going to have a run pass option. He just kind of throws it behind. You know, the defender, TJ Springer, Springer, never turns around. So he doesn't see the ball. So Salter sees that and says, I can take a shot here and get it to Sibley. Kind of throws it behind. And What it was. First and 10, Reed again, taking another shot. Corley, he's got it. Inside the 20-yard line, down to the 17. Coming up on two minutes left in the contest. Reed on the fourth down goes. Corley, he's got it. Touchdown, Western Kentucky. Give something.